Ha! I caught you there. Hello. Marhaba. I'm Oscar. And I'm Dan. And today we are in Bahrain. At the start of the year, we set out to visit 10 new countries this spring, from the 50 we totaled by December 2019. Obviously, these plans have changed now, but in January when this video was recorded, travel was still possible. We started out in East Africa visiting Rwanda and Uganda for a week, which was incredible. Our next destination was in Southeast Asia, but since we were transferring in the Middle East, we decided to take off the last two small countries we hadn't visited yet there with two days in each. So we flew up to Kuwait before visiting our 54th country, Bahrain, which, fun fact, is the only Gulf country where homosexuality isn't illegal. Yay! Hey you guys, it's very late, almost 2 a.m. Our flight was a bit delayed, but we made it to Bahrain country 54. We want to show you our Airbnb because our Airbnb is amazing. We usually actually stay in Airbnbs when we travel. And if you haven't used Airbnb before, you can get $40 off by using our referral link and you're helping us stay in more Airbnbs, so it's great. So let's do a little tour because it's amazing. Okay, so here's the kitchen. When you come in, there's the door. So here's the kitchen. We have been missing a washing machine. Yeah, yeah, a washing Finally. machine. The living room and a balcony, which seems like it will have a good view tomorrow. And a little bedroom, which is cute. Also another balcony and a mirror here. So it's super spacious. Um, and here is the bathroom, which is also super spacious. So uh, good night guys, see you in the morning. Where are we now? So we made it to the strip mall, Hala Plaza, which looks like just a more, like a more Arabic version of any strip mall in all of California. But we're going to the, um, I don't know if we can even say this without getting demonetized, the <laughs> Anus Cafe. And I saw like a playground with these huge animals over there. So we're gonna go there after. So stay tuned if you wanna see what those huge scary animals were. But now let's go um, to Anus. So not everything's here yet, but breakfast is almost served and we have a beautiful chia pudding which looks kind of like porridge and a veggie burger which is beautifully presented. Oh my gosh, look at this pomegranate, it looks so good. Yum. Walk in there oh my gosh. And then finally here is my dish too, which is a mushroom and what was it? Mushroom and chickpea flour omelette uh, with tofu on the side. So you know how I mentioned those huge birds or animals earlier? Well, it turns out they're ostriches stuck in this tiny, tiny cage. Oh, it's horrible. These animals are supposed to be running at high speeds through the savanna or the desert, not stuck in here. A good thing to keep in mind if you're coming to Bahrain is that um, there's not really an abundance of taxis on the streets, so... Yeah, we yeah. don't know what to do. We don't have data and we're just standing here on the side of the street now, like... And we haven't seen a single taxi. Save us, pick us up, please. Okay, we finally managed to get Wi-Fi to order an Uber. It's gonna take us to the National Museum, we decided, because it looks pretty cool. We're not usually super into museums, but this one looks more like... Uh, child museum which i think is more our style so the temperature is amazing so it's such a shame to go inside but i guess most bahrainis and most people in the gulf just live inside all the time anyway since it's so hot in the summer see you from the taxi bye all right we're at the national museum our taxi driver was uh bahraini which is actually like it sounds weird if you've never been to the gulf but if you ever have you know that you can never really find a local 
like an actual citizen who's a taxi driver, anything like that. Yeah, at least in Qatar and uh, the, in UAE. the UAE. Kuwait is also not, yeah. it doesn't really happen. But um, in Oman, maybe so it was fun because you told us all about how Bahrain has changed, how there used to be beaches along the whole city and now it's just skyscrapers, which he was so pissed about. It was so nice and it was so funny because like, we asked him, he's like, where are you from? He's like, I'm OG. Okay, this is fascinating. I haven't been to a national museum that this that gives this good an insight into a culture. It's perfect when we're here visiting because we're learning everything about what a traditional Bahraini life would be like from birth and now we're up to like kids losing their teeth and other stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just so fascinating to learn the traditional life in such an easy way. So usually, as I said, Oscar and I aren't huge on museums, but this is actually super cool. <laughs> It is so clean everywhere. It's pretty amazing. Made it five feet to the out of the rain. So let's check out what they have in store for us. So this is the main souk, I think, in Bahrain. Or in Should Manama. be one of them at least. This market so far is just mostly clothes, high jewels, high hats. Yes. So we found the good stuff. Wow. Hello, whoa, it's dark. What happened? Why is the camera blurry? I think that the sun went see. down. And we are going to a Lebanese restaurant. Um, well, yeah. All kind of meze originates in Lebanon, I guess, but meze is ubiquitous where you can find the best meze in the world, really. So we're back for some hummus. Bahrain has a very high mark to beat after Kuwait. Number one is served. How can you not love vine leaves and hummus? Oscar was never really a huge fan of vine leaves, but he's starting to like them. Mm. And we also got pomegranate juice. Sorry. Dinner was so good. So excited to sleep. Towards another pretty much full day in Bahrain. Good night. It is day two in Bahrain and we just got dropped off by the Uber at a UNESCO heritage site, which we're trying to figure out exactly what it is, but it's called Perling. Um, and we'll put more information right here. So this is apparently what it looks like after you've excavated pearls from, from the sea or from the ground. And it looks, Pretty cool in here. This is one of those moments where it would be really good to have local phone data, which we didn't exactly get. We're here in Bahrain for such a short time. Glasses? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your name? Adam. Okay, okay, nice to meet you. Oh my God. Are you gonna take those? Yeah, Ahmed. You wanna be in the video? Hey, looking swag. Nice. I'm looking. Ha! I caught you there. You were trying 
to go to Dubai or Doha or Abu Dhabi to try to experience the real golf. Yes, that's gonna be quite an experience. It's gonna be really, really cool and it's gonna be probably unforgettable. But the thing is, you won't necessarily get a glimpse of the real local traditional culture there unless you dig really deep. It's really fun so far the way that we've gotten to experience Bahrain because it's completely different from the way that we've experienced other Gulf countries before. It seems that here the percentage of expats uh, is generally a lot lower so there's a lot more actual Bahrainis uh, living in the country still and doing um, like normal jobs and stuff like that. And then the neighborhood Maharak, which we're in right now, uh, places like this seem a lot more authentic, a lot more um, local and traditional. And you really get to see a lot of the locals like uh, living here, like going about their daily lives and stuff. Um, which you generally don't see in places like Dubai, for example. So that we really like about Bahrain so far. So it's fun that we went to the museum yesterday and we read about weddings and now we see a real life wedding jewelry store. Yeah, apparently wedding jewelry is a huge thing here. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way through guys. We really appreciate and love you. You can check out our other videos in the cards now. And lastly, remember the holy trinity of Oscar and Dan. Hit the like button, subscribe for future videos, and don't forget to live life full time.